One large school community called City Montessori School, the Guinness Book of World Record holder for being the largest school in terms of number of students enrolled, has shown it is possible to impart education differently without adding to the workload. It does not stop merely at making a child learn it. It educates a child in all the three realities of man, that is, material, human, and divine, to become a total quality person. CMS students and teachers often carry out marches to raise awareness of various issues. ICSE students from all CMS campuses took out a huge Hiroshima and Nagasaki Day Peace March to sensitize governments towards unqualified escalation of nuclear and other weapons of mass destruction to instead focus on cohesive existence for a peaceful and a better world for the generations to come. The peace rally was led by the founder manager of City Montessori School, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, all the ICSC principals of CMS campuses, the teachers of ICSC classes, head of Quality Assurance and Innovation Department of CMS, Mrs. Sushmita Basu, joined in by Mr. Roshan Gandhi and two special guests from the city of Hiroshima in Japan. Let's pledge together in the presence of God To bring His smile and to help all those in need Children holding flags of different countries of the world vehemently appeal the world leaders to work for one common cause and that is the preservation of humanity. Enforceable international law. We want, we want. We want. We want. We want. We want. We want. No wars, no wars. We want no wars, no wars. Nuclear weapons. No more, no more. Nuclear weapons. No more, no more. Hiroshima. No more, no more. No more Nagasaki. No more hearts to be broken with swords of greed. No more Hiroshima. No more Nagasaki. No more hearts to be broken with swords of greed. Let's bless together in the presence of God. Children dressed in black robes signify that time has come that we have a world parliament for global law and justice. No more, no more. No more, no more. We won. Rule of law. We won. Rule of law. Enforceable international law. We won. We won. Enforceable international law. We won. 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 No wars. No wars. We won. No wars. No wars. No wars. No more Nagasaki No more hearts to be broken with Swords of free No more Hiroshima No more Nagasaki No more hearts to be broken with 
World Peace Gown designed at CMS is an extension to a unique World Peace Prayer Ceremony in which children pray for peace in every country and continent in the world. To bring a smile and to help all those in Great men influence others greatly. Children are seen marching, holding placards of great men with slogans written. No wars! We want! No wars! No wars! Nuclear weapons! No more! No more! Nuclear weapons! No more! No more! Hiroshima! No more! No more! Hiroshima! No more! No more! The rally culminated at the huge big World Unity Convention Center Auditorium where it was addressed by the founder manager of City Montessori School, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi. We will be celebrating the Nagasaki Day. Actually, it was on 6th, but 6th it was not possible, so we are celebrating on the 8th. And we are very happy to welcome two children from Japan. And one of them, is a his father was a victim of the 6th of, uh, yes, 6th of, um, yes, 6th of August tragedy that happened in Hiroshima. We are very happy to welcome Rena Sasaki and Masato Nakami Inchi and James Joseph from Hiroshima, Japan. They have come to lead this procession of Hiroshima and Nagasaki Day. We are very honored to have amongst us Honorable Shri Umesh Tripathi Ji, the District Inspector of the School of Lucknow, who is here with us as our chief guest. So I welcome our chief guest, Shri Umesh Tripathi Ji, who is here to who has joined this uh, Disarmament Day and Nuclear Band and Hiroshima Day and Nagasaki Day. This is a great day, dear children, when we are celebrating the Hiroshima Day. We do not want any more Hiroshima. We do not want any more Nagasaki. About three lakhs of people died in these two attacks. One was on 6th of August 1945. Another attack was on 9th of, 9th of August 1945. In these two attacks, American attack by atom bomb, the two cities were totally destroyed and Japan was shaken. So what has happened, the tragedy, which this day should never come in the, life, in the history of mankind. So we believe, we pray God that this day should never come. And for that, we have to unite the world. We have to bring about a world parliament. We need an alternate institution to the United Nations. So we want this United Nations Day to be celebrated in such a way that United Nations becomes democratized and powerful. John Timberjan said, a Nobel laureate in economics said, mankind's problems can no longer be solved by national government. What is needed is the world government and this can best be achieved by strengthening the United Nations system. So we have to strengthen the United Nations system and create a new United Nations system where there is no veto power. It should be democratized and it should be uh, um, it should be a power institution, there should be complete democracy in the United Nations. So we want a United, different United Nations, an alternate United Nations that will be called a world parliament, a legally constituted world parliament through which we can have a world government and a world court of justice. So we believe the whole earth is but one family. No other constitution in the world has such a provision as Article 51 that we have in, in our constitution. So dear children, we are very lucky that we have the responsibility. We have a responsibility. We are a responsible nation. We are a responsible citizen of our country. And it is our bounding duty. Mr. Roshan Gandhi appealed on behalf of the students' community to up...